I saw this definition of the word glimmer recently and I really, really liked it. I don't think this is the official definition, but I love the fact that we acknowledge that there are small and simple moments that seem so normal and like there's nothing special to them, but really they give you so much joy and they bring you to life. They make you feel happy about where you are and grateful for what you have. And my week has been full of these glimmer moments. We had family visiting. We were all cooking in my beautiful new kitchen. I was cooking for our guests in our beautiful new kitchen. We went to see our friends. It was really a whole collection of glimmer moments. After my kitchen reveal video, many of you asked if you could see the pantry. That project is still not entirely finished, but here's a little glimpse of it. People also asked where I put my fridge, and I intentionally put the fridge and the freezer in the pantry as well. This way, I have a kitchen that is just all my tools and the things that I need every day, like salt and vinegar and oil. And the pantry has all my staples all my stock of everything that you see here and I really like having those two separate because I'm kind of chaotic to be honest I think I look very organized but I organize myself really well so that I'm efficient in what I do um, and it doesn't really bother me to have the fridge in the pantry it is really next to the kitchen so I'm really really happy with this setup this morning I'm making a smoothie granola bowl for my guests. Many of you have said that I never talk about my book since I launched it and that I hardly ever show it. So here you go. The recipe is in the book and I will film it for you so you can take a screenshot and try this at home. I really wanted this book to be more than just recipes. I wanted it to be just the way that you experience, hopefully, my YouTube channel. Like you're having a little visit of Burgundy, so I share images of the vineyards of our region. I talk about brocante, I talk about a lot of things, and I just wanted this to be one of those coffee table books that you take when you have maybe five minutes and a coffee just to transport yourself to another world and to enjoy all the beauty that this gorgeous region brings even when you're not able to come here personally or travel here and then of course there's lots of recipes very simple recipes i keep things very simple so yeah this is this is the book for those that haven't seen it the link to order this it's on amazon almost worldwide it's only one or two countries where you can't get it so if you're interested you can find that link in the description box Dat apparaat verdient. Hm? Heb ik dat verdiend? Ja, met, oh. je, met je cafetière. Van het plaatje. 
We went to see our friends Betty and Flores who have recently bought a house about two hours south of where we live. And we went to see them on the actual day that they got the keys to their house to celebrate with them. And I brought a lunch so they didn't have to worry about that and to do a first cleanup so that they could move in, have a nice place to live. Olaf helped clean the pool and they have such an amazing and beautiful place. They are going to do building works and renovations and they have plenty of ideas. They also found some drawings from like some architect drawings from the previous owners of building works and renovation works that had been done. So you can imagine the interior designer in me was very excited to see those. And I got so, so inspired just from looking at the house and the potential and everything they can do with it. They have a lot of plans and they feel very inspired as well. And they also document their journey on YouTube, although it is in Dutch, but I will leave a link in the description box. This year, I am much happier about how our garden is doing. We've had a lot more rain, so we don't have to water our plants very much. And also, we have used vinegar and salt to try to um, prevent getting too many uh, weeds in our gravel that we have everywhere. So far, I still feel I need to do a lot of weeding, but I guess that's just part of living like this. The other really good news is that the zinnias that my aunt collected from my late grandmother in the US, um, they grew and grow zinnias since, I don't know, forever. And every year they harvest the seeds and then they sow them again. And about two years ago, my aunt brought some seeds for me. And I've sown them in maybe February, March, taken really good care of them and then planted them in the garden because I wanted to be absolutely sure which ones were grandma's. So I didn't just want to throw a couple of seeds in the ground and they are finally blooming and they are beautiful.
Seite. 